Let's freaking go! We have an Andre Sam film study today because he just committed to LSU, and we have gotten the blessing of the Honey Badger himself. Super excited about this film study today. As you can see, Andre Sam coming off the edge right here and making a big play. Obviously, a very nice, clean hit. The screen got blown up with all the action right there. Number 89 gets the pick six. This reminds me a lot of LeVar Edwards for you LSU legends. He also wore number 89 and had multiple touchdowns at LSU. Good job by Andre Sam not getting a blindside block penalty. If if it's this clear, no need to make any kind of hit or block. And guess what? Marshall scores a tutty. Where would Andre Sam actually fit in to this team? The one thing I really liked about this blitz right here is that he timed it so unbelievably perfectly. He did not give away that he was blitzing. I think a lot of young DBs obviously do that once to get a good, clean hit too. The game that everybody is lauding Andre Sam for was the Marshall upset last year in South Bend, Indiana, and I guarantee you a ton of LSU fans had a lot of fun making fun of Notre Dame fans who made fun of pretty much every LSU Tiger saying Brian Kelly can't recruit, so on and so on and so on. And Marshall probably doesn't win this game without what Andre Sam did in this double-digit tackles. As you can see uh, throughout the course of this game, the Notre Dame offense was very discombobulated, right? Uh, their quarterback, Tyler Buckner, who ended up uh, going to Alabama, uh, got hurt in this game, and they could never really get any rhythm. And part of it was because Andre Sam flew into the box and made so many amazing open field tackles. That first tackle for loss wasn't nearly as good as that one. Something else I like to see, it's a good sign if you're a good balanced athlete, how quickly do you pop up after these open field tackles? You know, I, it might just be a me thing. I like seeing Andre say, say him pop up so quickly. It here's pretty much the same thing. Blitz coming off the edge, you make a nice tackle for loss in the backfield. So, while I play these highlights in the background, you're going to notice something pretty interesting about Andre Sam throughout uh, the rest of this tape is his best attribute actually isn't coverage. It is stuff like this where he's flying into the box and making plays. Here's another example. Fourth and one, this kind of became an Andre Sam kind of game where Notre Dame, in pretty predictable situations, tried to run the football, and these fast, twitchy athletes like Sam just gets underneath this block from an NFL-level tight end, Michael Mayer, um, the best non-Brock Bowers tight end in the game. And you'll see this is a very difficult block. He's got to get a down block on him. Sam gets underneath it and helps stuff this fourth and one run versus a 225-pound back um, uh, in, in Andre Estime. I think that's his name. So th this game was really incredible. It really was. And it just fit his skill set, right? Lots of quick stuff. He is really good at flying down the field. Once again, here's another example. DB doesn't take a great angle. Uh, so watch him. He actually runs this from behind this block and was able to chase down 25 right here and make a very nice tackle there. Um, so, yes, this is uh, a, a really nice pickup for LSU. And look, you know, overall, it's important to understand what he is and what he isn't. Can he play some deep safety? We're going to give you an actual deep safety rep here in just a second. But I do see him more as a nickel. So here's a quick coverage rep from the game. Here he is, press man, uh, against this absolutely huge tight end target. And look, he's all over him. I mean, to me, I'll take this coverage all day. Look, this guy is hitting him in the face uh, right here. Bang, bang, and Sam even made a pretty strong case that hit that had hit the ground. So, you know, once again, he, the, the, the pass was completed, but it was pretty good coverage. Boom! I'm giving away this Grant Delpit card. All you got to do is like, subscribe, and comment down below because Grant Delpit was our last line of defense in 2019. And so many people say, well, Grant Delpit had a huge drop-off. 
Well, it's because they actually asked him to play a new role, and he was playing through injury, and he made a lot of big-time touchdown-saving tackles, including one versus Auburn right before the end of the half. So Andre Sam is a lot like Grant Delpit. He is better served being a guy in the box who's able to get in there and make plays. But sometimes you're going to be asked to play the true free safety role, and here he is. You got to make this tackle. They perfectly block this alleyway. And now, look at this. Running back is running clean through the hole. Corner has outside contain. Sam has got to take on this block and get off this block and make this play, or else this is an extra 15, 20 yards. You see him take on the block, get off the block, and make a big play tackle. Here's another example of it, and look, I watched a decent amount of Andre Sam. It is never good when your defensive tackle is getting blown this far back, and look at how well this play is blocked. We got all of Marshall's players just kind of crammed in here, and look, they get a corner blitz off the edge, and look at this hole. It's clean. Now, you notice Andre Sam is not in the picture. He is the free safety back here, and that's not him. You'll see him dart in here, and he takes a bad angle around the umpire here, and now he has got to chase this guy down. Now, he did a really good job of hustling and ended up making this play. I love seeing the catch-up speed, but it goes to show you how difficult it is to actually do the touchdown-saving tackle roll. It is a very key roll and good hustle to eventually make this play. Now... Let's take a look at Andre Sam in Tiger Stadium. He has indeed played a game in this building before. And before we actually break down these reps, let's actually take a deeper look at his career. So Andre Sam is an older player. He is from the class of 2017. So that was Justin Jefferson, Patrick Queen, Miles Brennan. Uh, that's when he came out of Iowa Louisiana. Now, I know that looks like Iowa, but it's Iowa. And yes, he is old, but that's a really good thing in my estimation. Because look, take a look at someone like Joe Fouché, who was also a super senior, if you will. He was big for LSU last year, even though he missed the first four games of the season. So veteran leadership goes an absolute long way. So actually, coming into Tiger Stadium, this is year seven of his college career. So if this just happens to be your first ever film study of mine, when I'm looking at a transfer portal player, there are two seasons that I look at the most. Your first and your very last. So this obviously wasn't Andre Sam last year or his first year. This was 2021 in Tiger Stadium. And here, it's a perfectly blocked run play again. And here's Andre Sam taking on Armani Goodwin. And obviously, this ended up being a pretty big run for Armani Goodwin. And obviously, you would like to see him make that tackle. Now, it's a very difficult tackle, but it's one you would like to see made. But the game actually did get better for him. So here we go. Very exotic stuff from this LSU offense. This is Kayshawn in his prime. So a little return orbit motion action here. Uh, football film nerds, please let me know if I butchered that. And look, Andre Sam, here you go. Straight head up. It is you and Kayshawn for a tutty here. And he takes a perfect angle this time. And Kayshawn obviously just floats into the back of his own player. And that ends up being a very nice tackle. And LSU would go on to end up kicking a field goal on this drive. So this, to me, was Andre Sam's best play of the day. And if they want him to play a more true kind of safety role, these are the kind of plays you want to see more of on tape, okay? So pre-snap, Garrett Nussmeyer sees that Kobe Richardson right here, this deep fourth, Andre Sam, this deep fourth, this safety, this deep fourth, and this corner in this deep fourth. Oh, well, I can't really see where this corner is. But what happens here is this rolls McNeese into center field, center field, middle field close, cover three, right? So now this is your deep third. This is your deep middle. And this corner obviously would be uh, fighting off uh, or 
digging back into this deep third, and this safety becomes the robber. Now, notice where he starts this play, all right? Garrett Nussmeyer is looking him off to the left, and eventually he works back to the right. So even though we don't see Andre Sam, Garrett Nussmeyer is throwing this football all the way over here. And look at where Sam ends up getting to, okay? This ends up being a very good throw by Garrett Nussmeyer. Look at how much ground he's able to cover and get his hand in there and make this play to force a punt. Excellent, excellent, excellent stuff. Now, could that ball have been delivered a little bit quicker? Yeah, it could have. But good stuff, good energy, and that's a second great consecutive play versus an elite player in his prime. So, good stuff. Tell me a little bit about your experiences growing up as a kid who stutters. Uh, so, for a kid who for a kid who stutters, it was very rough. So that whole thing was actually really good done by Marshall. I love seeing representation in all walks of life, and there are a lot of people out there that do struggle with stuttering. So I love that. I love seeing people overcome all those types of things and something else Andre Sam has had a lot of personal tragedy losing multiple family members over the past couple of years including a brother who also played football at McNeese State so when it comes to rooting for somebody this is the guy right we always talk about this on PHL we want the three-star Louisiana recruit to live that dream the two-star Louisiana recruit but Sam was a zero star, um, and that is what makes this so freaking fun, right? Because, you know, the Converses, the Fouches of the world, they grew up wanting to play DB at LSU, and even though they initially didn't go to LSU, they eventually are able to come back home because of the transfer portal. So, um, I actually cut quite a few plays out today. Um, I'm going to probably post them on Patreon eventually. Uh, I've got a lot of traveling and things uh, coming up over the next couple of weeks. So what I'm going to do is eventually post more clips on the PHL Patreon. Now, I'm not going to do it immediately because there is so much film study content that we've posted. I don't want to overload our current patrons. So sign up now, patreon.com slash LSU football for bonus film studies, autograph cards, and so much more. Now... Let's take a look at this LSU secondary overall. I do think he is better served as a nickel. I think he could step in right away and play the slot corner. And there is playing time up for grabs. Last year, of course, um, that role was mostly served by a whole host of players, Jay Ward being one of them, Greg Brooks being another. And the guy who started that position throughout spring was Sage Ryan, who has had a very up-and-down career at LSU. J.B. Toviano is also someone that could play the nickel. So, Andre Sam, I don't know if he's for sure going to be a free safety or even a strong safety. I could see him being a nickel. Now, can he give you some free safety and strong safety reps? Absolutely. freaking lutely Can he be a potential backup to Major Burns and Greg Brooks? Absolutely. And have Sage Ryan and JV and Toviano run the nickel. What about all these other incoming freshmen that are coming in? We'll see. But the key thing, the LSU players tweeted out how badly they wanted them. Tyron Matthew did. The entire staff did. Give them a lot of credit because the guy can play. Now, I know earlier I said, you know, I made the Grant, Grant Delpit analogy. I'm not necessarily going to say that he is a Grant Delpit type of talent. Not many people are. Um, I would say he's probably someone that could be a Jarek Bernard Converse, someone who is a very solid, experienced player. Now, him and Converse are different types of players, but let's say a Joe Fouché, a guy that we've talked about quite a bit in this video, someone who could just be a steadying force and give us some playable defensive back reps and potentially some special 
team's reps with a new special team coordinator in John Jancic. The bottom line is he is going to contribute in some sherm, some shape, form, or fashion. That did, did I say that right? Either way, I'm really freaking excited to have him be a part of next year's team. So comment down below. Let me know. What do you think his best role is? Do you think he is more of a nickel or a safety? Give me your honest thoughts. And do you think he is for sure going to start next season? Okay. Now, for watching this on the premiere, we'll be doing a live stream tonight. So we'll see you there. Okay. Let's go. It is. Power. Hour. LSU. Bam. Floating in your face. Some more film study content. Logan Diggs style. And tonight, oh, barbecue chicken night two. Let's go.